I was working with a student the other day and we came across the quadratic formula. And the student said to me, well, where does that formula come from? So for today's lesson, I thought I'd run through the formula and just show you exactly where it comes from. Now to follow this video, you really should have done some work on completing the square. And if you haven't, I recommend you go off, find a video on completing the square, and then you can come back and follow along with this tutorial. The first thing I'm going to do is to write out the general form for a quadratic equation. And that is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. I'm now going to subtract c from both sides. So that will leave me with ax squared plus bx on the left, which will be equal to negative c. We now divide all these terms by a, so x squared plus b over ax is equal to negative c over a. Now when we're completing the square, what we need to do is to add a number to the left hand side and add the same number to the right hand side. We like to keep that equation balanced. To find the number we add, we take the coefficient of the x term and divide by 2 and then square it. So what I'm going to get is x squared plus b over ax plus, now I say it's the coefficient of the x term divided by 2 and then squared. And I have to add that to both sides. So b over 2a squared. So now what I can do, I can write this left hand side as x plus b over 2a squared, which is equal to negative c over a. I'm going to go ahead and square out these brackets here to give b squared over 4a squared. I will leave the left hand side as it is for the time being. So x plus b over 2a, and that's all squared. And on this right hand side here, I'm going to get a common denominator. To get a common denominator, what I'd have to do is multiply this left hand fraction by 4a over 4a. So what I would have would be b squared minus 4ac all over 4a squared. So I've just done a little bit of rearranging there, put the b squared term first, and then the minus 4ac. The next step is to take the square root of both sides. Now when I do that, I will have x plus b over 2a on the left, and I will have the square root of that right-hand term. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put two little square roots in here. So the square root of b squared minus 4ac. And if I take the square root of 4a squared, it would be 2a. And because we're doing the square root, we should have a positive and negative. And the last step is to subtract b over 2a from both sides. So we get that x is equal to minus b over 2a plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And obviously we have a common denominator here, so I can simplify this a little bit. Minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac. And that is all over 2a. And there we have the quadratic formula. If you found this video useful, then remember to give me a quick thumbs up. And if you would like to be notified when I release new videos, then hit that subscribe button and remember to click on the little notification bell.